according to scripture has four major assignments in the life of the believer number one the first assignment of prayer in the life of the believer is for growth and transformation in order of priority this is the highest assignment of prayer in a believer's life unfortunately most people have not tapped into this possibility that you gain mastery by evolving to superior levels of yourself even in the place of prayer luke chapter 9 and verse 29 the bible says and as he prayed the fashion of his countenance was altered and his raiment was white and glistering say prayer you can grow and you can be transformed in the place of prayer i show you a believer who does not engage in prayer consistently forget about mastery you cannot gain mastery in this kingdom if you ignore prayer and if you do not understand the assignment of prayer to your life growth and transformation jude jude 1 and verse 20 the bible says but ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the holy ghost prayer builds the believer prayer can turn a weak you into a strong you prayer can turn a very timid canal you into a spiritual version of yourself men ought always to pray and not to faint number two i just want to touch it quickly so that we'll move to the other one making requests and obtaining promises this is the second assignment of prayer from scripture for making requests and obtaining promises every time you want to make requests and you want to obtain promises the platform for making this happen is prayer philippians chapter 4 from verse 6 it says be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto god making requests and obtaining promises number three very quickly the third assignment of prayer in your life is for spiritual legislation what is spiritual legislation decrees creating possibilities in the place of prayer decrees creating possibilities job 22 and verse 28 please give it to us quickly job 22 and verse 28 thou shalt also decree a thing and it shall be established unto thee and the light shall shine upon your ways it, you shall decree a thing it happens in the place of prayer numbers 14 28 numbers 14 28 say unto them as truly as i live saith the lord as ye have spoken in mine ears so will i do unto you not just as as much as you desire if you speak in my ears i will do it just like you have said it making decrees obtaining promises then spiritual legislation and then number four warfare and intercession the last dimension and jurisdiction of prayer in the life of the believer is for warfare and intercession ezekiel 22 from verse 29 to 31 very quickly ezekiel 22 the people of the land have used oppression and exercised robbery and have vexed the poor and the needy yea they have oppressed the stranger wrongfully 30 and i sought for a man among them that should make up the hedge and stand in the gap before me for the land that i should not destroy it he said but i found none as a result 31 he says therefore i have poured out my indignation upon them i have consumed them with the fire of my wrath their own way i have recompensed on their head saith the lord these are the four dimensions of prayer i've done this teaching i'm i'm, I'm reminding you for this series that if you want to gain mastery in this kingdom you must understand prayer you must understand prayer men ought always to pray and not to faint and that at any point you pray you are doing one or more or all of these four things engaging in that which makes for your spiritual development obtaining promises is like cashing a check in the realm of the spirit 
in the place of prayer number three making decrees and establishing realities in your life number four engaging the ministry of warfare and intercession at any point you go to pray these are the things that are captured in the prayer life of a believer unfortunately please look up many believers do not pray not for transformation not as a platform to obtain requests and make petitions not even to make decrees over their lives maybe they do a bit of it in church and largely most believers do not engage in the ministry of warfare and intercession no wonder the life of many believers remain defeated in spite of the fact that they are zealous for god they love god with all their hearts but they continue to find out that nothing in their lives is a capture of the grace the wisdom the power of god you must tonight make up your mind that for to honor my desire to strive and to rise to the point of mastery I must engage the ministry of prayer as a lifestyle as a lifestyle prayer as a lifestyle not a strategy for disaster management prayer as a lifestyle for most people conditions have to provoke you to pray a negative report and you quickly come to pray and Satan knowing that when he wants to attack you he will not make the thing look so bad because it will call for emergency and you go and pray so he will allow gradually gradually until your prayer life goes cold and he will attack you in one day and you will be surprised understanding prayer i believe in the power of prayer i am a product of the ministry of prayer we must submit ourselves to the ministry of prayer you must obtain grace from god i pray that you will believe the things that i'm teaching you that a believer who is determined to pray with understanding please take note with understanding i submit to you that in the body of christ there is a lot of zeal people pray and pray and even if you are god the way you see people pray you are wondering why is this person's life like this i can tell you that most of our prayer is not guided by understanding for many believers we think is the stretch and the energy invested that is equal to results it is not so most believers do not pray according to scripture most believers do not pray according to knowledge there is such a thing as praying amiss have you read it in scripture apostle james said it is possible for one to pray amiss he says let that man not think he will receive anything from the lord prayer that every time you bow your knees to pray do you know how much of a blessing you will be if people know that your prayer really works so when you tell them i want to pray for you they are happy there are many people if they say i want to pray for you they just laugh at you because they know that you have not even sorted the subject of prayer you don't even understand what you are saying change that narrative with determination god wants the average believer listening to me to get to a point where you don't just pray but you understand the jurisdiction and the assignment of prayer whilst you are seated in one minute i'd like you to just begin to pray and obtain grace from god you are seated inside you are seated outside obtain grace let it be from the depth of your heart father i obtain grace i obtain grace to fan my prayer altar back in the name of jesus the son of the living god someone is praying she brande cascadela hasibash magata prande gedebele kosiata i obtain grace i can pray negative things out of my life i can pray the will of god into my life and destiny You want to strive for mastery, you must understand prayer. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible recommends, listen carefully. The Bible recommends an approach to prayer. The most effective dimension of prayer, second only to praying in the spirit, is praying the promises of God.
write it down please praying the promises of god isaiah 41 and verse 21 the word of god as you know defines the boundary of god's commitment to the believer that means god cannot be committed to the believer outside of the provisions and the allowance of scripture let me repeat myself god cannot be committed to the believer outside of the provisions and the allowance of scripture the word of god defines the boundary of god's commitment to the believer it says produce your cause saith the lord bring forth your strong reasons saith the king of jacob do you know what this means approach prayer like a legal system in the realm of the spirit don't just say god bless me based on what don't just say god change my life you are god that's the kind of prayer we pray lord i'm tired of this situation arise oh god based on what he says produce your cause bring forth your strong reasons that means bring my word to me in prayer the scriptural basis that commits me to move on that wise are we together so the devil is plaguing your family plaguing your life and he said god i'm tired of this situation in jesus name i assure you you reported your situation but you didn't pray what is the basis lord bless me uh -uh. what is the basis even jesus himself i've taught you this when satan came to jesus he said it is written it is written is what gives strength to your prayer it is not what you are saying that gives strength to your prayer it is saying what is written when you say what you want it is not prayer when you say what is wrong it is not prayer is when you connect what you want and what is wrong to what god has said now that is prayer father your word declares that though my beginning be small my later end will greatly increase based on this truth in the name of jesus i place a demand upon the grace that makes for advancement and increase now you are praying as simple as it sounds i can tell you many believers will keep shadow boxing and believing they are praying the promises of god I've taught you here that the word of God contains three things essentially. Every time you open scripture, the word of God is a capture of promises, principles, and prophecies. Every time you open your Bible, you are interacting with number one, the promises of God. Number two, the principles of the kingdom. Number three, prophecy. Can I tell you this? If you are a leader here of a prayer group you're a leader here of any prayer platform don't just tell people pray 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 bring the scriptures that support what you are asking if not i can guarantee you you wasted your time hezekiah turned his face to the wall he would have said god this is not fair he said remember i have worked diligently in other words remember what your word says about those who serve your house can i tell you this if you know how to bring forth your strong reason you can go to bed you will commit god and and destroy dislodge anything that is not of god in prayer i speak life i speak life you're gonna leave oh my brother my sister i speak life you are the head and not the tail you will prevail I speak life. don't give up the fight for your life you shall live and not die listen to me this thing you see is a very powerful song but when you get to the place of prayer 
you must find what God has said otherwise you have not prayed father I bring before you your word your word declares that life and death has been set before me blessing and cursing that I have the power to choose life now in honor to your word I choose life you are making decrees it's been registered in the realm of the spirit when you are saying it demons are hearing you and there is a basis for your confidence what is written father your word declares that a thousand shall fall by my side and ten thousand by my right side that none shall harm me it is not just what is written that blesses you is what is written that you have found and you engage with understanding even in the place of prayer i found your word and i did it it was a joy and a rejoicing unto me is someone learning so your first assignment when you want to engage in prayer especially in understanding is to make sure you have the patience to bring the scriptures that begin that that become the basis of your defense and of making your petition don't just go and pray and ramble around internet has made it easy to pray efficiently if you want to pray concerning your health say for instance you can go and just google prayers concerning health different scriptures will come is your responsibility to filter it by the spirit to the two or three if you can find just two or three that may be sufficient go to the place of prayer lord i bring before you this and you are praying kailashko prandagata and while you are praying you find out that things just begin to shift and change believers please hear me if we don't teach believers the power of prayer and gaining mastery even in the place of prayer many people will stop praying they will be tired and say this thing does not work the prayer that works is the prayer that is connected to scripture the prayer that work is the prayer that is derived of the spirit outside of the ministry of the word and the spirit prayer does not work let me repeat outside of the ministry of the word and the spirit prayer does not work it just becomes a motion of dissipating energy prayer is based on what god has said prayer is based on what you want that is connected to what god has said your first assignment is to find out what he has said that relates to what you want now you can go to the place of prayer with understanding the bible says this is the confidence we have that when we ask anything according to his will he heareth us so it tells you there is a possibility that you will not be heard if it's not according to his will 